Don't forget subscribe, like, share. Burma coup resistance notes September 4, 2022 Ethnic regions in Kulthule Bay Tavoy district Tananthari region on Burmese maps fighting continued for a third day near Pakari on the Dawei Hatiki road that leads to the Thailand border. Local PDFs have intercepted junta convoys coming from both directions, Dawei in the west and Mayata in the east. They say that nearly 30 junta troops have been killed in the past three days. A video shows a PDF ambush turning back a junta marching column on a road with 40mm grenades and gunfire from forest cover. In Arakan state, junta troops fired mortars and rifles into Mayaku town yesterday, and kidnapped a number of random civilians including old people and women, according to residents. The leader of the Arakan army, General Chun Mayat Nang, said the junta forces are cowards who only attack unarmed civilians. Recently junta troops responded to a battle in Arakan state by firing mortars into a village 8 kilometers from the battle site that had nothing to do with the fighting. Meanwhile, the junta continued its airstrikes on the milepost 40 border camp captured by the Arakan army on August 30. At least four junta attack jets crossed into Bangladesh airspace yesterday, and junta mortar fire fell inside Bangladesh. In northern Shan state a battle is underway between the Northern Alliance Kachin, Tarang, Kokang, and Arakan ethnic armies and junta troops near Theni town. The battle just started this afternoon, so no details are available yet. In Kareni state, Kareni defense forces ambushed five junta resupply trucks arriving in HPR Uzo township yesterday, damaging one of them and wounding three troops. Also, a Kareni drone bombing team blew the roofs off of two buildings in a Junta army camp, wounding at least five troops there. In Kothule Duplaya district Mayawadi township on Burmese maps 300 Junta troops suddenly arrived in Thay Borbo village near War Lay on September 2, where the Karen army overran their camp earlier. The troops burned some homes and killed some civilians, prompting a mass exodus over the border into Thailand. In Mourne State, a local PDF in Pound Township continued its attacks on junta targets last night with a 40mm grenade attack on the township police barracks, which damaged a junta administrator's car along with the police office. The same PDF attacked the junta electric company office and another admin office there in the past week. Junta scorched earth village terrorism campaign since a large PDF coalition killed 30 junta troops and captured three officers on August 23. Large groups of troops are raiding and pillaging in Kantbalu and Kunla townships of northern Zagaring region. Currently they are burning Wagongi village in Kunla township. Meanwhile, local PDFs opened fire on a Junta Pius or Hati road checkpoint in Kantbalu township yesterday, killing four out of 15 of them and capturing some weapons. In Minkan Township, 120 Junta troops are occupying Kyur village and extorting 300,000 kiats from villages, supposedly as compensation for a captain and two troops killed in a battle near there. In the nearby village of Kone Moor they kidnapped 10 civilians who had sought shelter in a Buddhist monastery, including women and children. People's Defense Forces PDFs in Sigang's Mayanmu Township, a PDF fired grenades at the main police barracks in the main town last night, killing one soldier and seriously wounding three. The PDF also fired three grenades at the junta-owned Myanmar Commercial Bank last night. These attacks continue the recent pattern of attacks on junta positions in the main towns which were previously strongholds of the regime. In Monawa Township a PDF blew up a junta truck on the Mandalay Road on September 2, killing seven troops. In Kali Township, three PDF soldiers who were returning from bomb training encountered a junta convoy, so they deployed a bomb they had just learned to make and blew up a junta truck, killing two troops and possibly more. Russian-supplied attack jets dropped bombs in Katha Township yesterday to try to clear the riverbanks of PDFs as a junta supply flotilla begins its return journey down the Irrawaddy River. The bombs exposed trash that had been buried. In Mandalay region, a PDF attacked a junta checkpoint in Payanse village on September 2, killing four troops who had been extorting money from travelers. Urban warfare in Yangon, the junta-owned Myanmar brewery in Mingaladan industrial zone of northern Yangon was attacked with two bombs last night. Also in Mingaladan township last night, urban PDFs fired grenades at the township police barracks. A bomb exploded yesterday at the insane township office of the Police Criminal Investigation Division. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM. 
A wave of suicides is underway in Burma due to the sharp deterioration in the economic situation as a result of the junta's catastrophic mismanagement. Medicines cannot be imported and are running out, fuel is scarce, much employment has stopped, prices have increased over 100% while household incomes have dropped. A feeling of despair is widespread among the civilian population. People are jumping from bridges and taking poison. In the main city Yangon, there is no electricity most of the time, sometimes for days and nights at a time.